grocery store. <laughs>
to live this life. Even though the pressures of life through surgeries and situations try to press her head down, she lifted up her head. Despite she didn't allow cancer to get her, she lifted her head up anyway. And she kept striving. She made fun of it. When her hair was, when she was bald, she had her Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> Did she pop? She had her Mickey Mouse ears. She strived. I hear the scripture said, lift up your head on ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Yeah. The Lord mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. And so she lifted up her head. Oh ye gates. He was the lifter of her head. And she say praise him. Hallelujah. She say praise him. Hallelujah all the time. <laughs> yeah. At, at, at my graduation, she was on a shuttle. Big shuttle. And someone told me that when she got on the shuttle, she got on and said, Praise the Lord, everybody! <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Funny. I was talking to her one time and she said, Tina, <coughs> I've been through the fire. <laughs>
honor is due unto our Father. It's okay. It's okay. Honor is indeed due. We're celebrating today who can find a virtuous woman. The scripture says her children rise up and call her blessed. Hallelujah. Huh? Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. We call her blessed today. We call her anointed today. We call her delivered today. She served with a purpose, stretching forth to those that are in need. She served with a purpose. Huh? She served with a purpose to bind the broken hearted and to heal those that were wounded. She did it, did she not? She healed those who were wounded. She called herself the bionic woman. Reminds me of the woman with the issue of blood. For 12 years, the woman suffered with the issue of blood. And she sought physicians to be healed, but they failed her. She sought physicians to help her. She spent all of her money, and they failed her. She was let down. But when she heard that Jesus was coming, the great physician, when she heard that he was coming, she said, I'm going to stretch forth to touch him. So the woman with the issue of blood stretched forth her hand to touch Jesus, but there was too many around her. So her issue drove her to her knees. And thus she pressed through and touched the hem of his garment. I'm here to tell you today, too, even if your issues press you down, stretch forth your hand to touch the hem of his garment, and he will heal you. She was virtuous and she was loved. And she will 